And it's the rescission issue. Now, I was the insurance commissioner in California 2003 to 2007. And during that time, we received complaints about rescission, about people that had health insurance, had an illness, and suddenly the insurance company canceled them. Now, I'll tell you that we took action against the largest insurance companies, WellPoint, Anthem, the Blue Cross program in California, and others on this specific issue. And it is a very, very real issue. I am so happy to be here in Congress and to vote on a bill that says no more, no how will you be able, Mr. Insurance, to continue that very pernicious, very, very damaging and grossly unfair practice. Lawsuits have gone on. This bill will put a stop to that practice. Let me just take one other thing. Um, Mr. Ellison had that chart, 45,000 die for lack of insurance. Yes. But there are other things here. America, because of our, the way in which we've structured our health insurance programs, we rank 19th among the industrialized nations of the world in in preventing illnesses. And in the general health care statistics, we rank below the country of Colombia on how healthy our population is. We also know, and this is one that has really upset us, came to all of our attention. I knew this in California, but now America knows that over the last two years, in California alone and in most other states, I think in your state, 94% rate increase for individual policies. 94%. How in the world can they do that when health care inflation has been less than 10%? Well, they do it because they're more interested in their bottom line profits. And I think Mr. Ellison is going to come to that in the next few moments. In California, a study done by the state government, the sixth largest health insurance companies in California have denied 21%. This is the average. 21% of all claims. The range goes from 39% down to about 20%. So if you tell me, the number of times that they deny claims, you want to talk about a death panel, then you talk about the insurance companies that deny necessary treatment to keep people alive. That's what they're doing in California, one-fifth. And finally, the number of Californians, 24% of Californians without insurance. Mr. Kowski. Let's talk about rates for, uh, for a minute. Um, we uh, had testimony for, from customers of Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield, which is owned by WellPoint. We also had the CEO of WellPoint, a woman named Angela Braley, who um, I, uh, I, I suppose it was somewhat rude for me to ask her how much money she made, um, but she was kind enough to answer and said that she made uh, $1.2 million a year plus eight million dollars in stock options um, and that was uh, how, how, much, how well she did um, but then she went on of course to um, absolutely justify these rate increases um, for their private insurance market three people had testified before she got up there about what these rate increases meant to them an individual middle-aged guy tended toward younger man who had a pre-existing condition. He had seen his rates go up about 75 percent, not quite the, the, the 90, but it was too much for him. Uh, a, uh, a, a woman who, because her son had a pre-existing condition, had such a high deductible, they had never even made their deductible, and yet their rates were going to go up even higher. And, uh, and another woman who had a pre-existing condition who was unable to keep her policy. And Ms. Braley is making all, all this money. The company overall was making literally billions of dollars in profit. Mr. Ellison, what do you, what's that thing behind you? Well, what, what's behind me is just a, another little data point, which we're trying to get Americans to... To, to, to see here, and Americans know this, even if they don't know the number, they know it in their gut, health insurers break profit records as 2.7 million Americans lose coverage. We should, that's worth saying again, I think, Mr. Speaker. Health insurance break record profits as 2.7 million Americans lose coverage. And Congressman Schakowsky from the great state of Illinois 
illustrated just a moment ago. Americans are struggling. People have these high deductibles. They're not even meeting them, and they're still getting rate increases. Here's the fact. Here's a stat for you that I don't have a board for. Sixty percent of all the bankruptcy filings are because of medical debt. Americans going to bankruptcy because they can't afford to pay these ridiculous health care bills. These are people who already have insurance. Seventy-five percent of them already have health insurance. They're going bankrupt. Let me yield to the gentleman from Illinois. Tell the rest of that story. Seventy-five percent have health insurance. Some people think, Mr. Speaker, we're talking about the uninsured, and we are. But that's not the only people we're talking about. Tell the story about the insured. I yield back to somebody.